It's a lazy summer's afternoon in Shoe Town, and Trampy is having a quiet sleep in his garden. Now, Trampy's garden is rather different from yours or mine. It's completely overgrown with long grass, wild flowers, and two of the biggest blackberry bushes you've ever seen. But Trampy wouldn't have it any other way. His neighbour, on the other hand, has rather different views on the subject. Trampy's neighbour, of course, is Sergeant Major. And at least once a day, he has a quiet word with Trampy about the state of it. Trampy! Get your edge cut! Now! Is that clear? But Sergeant Major, as usual, is wasting his breath. Trampy is fast asleep and dreaming about the past. Once, he had been brand new, all polished and shining. But as time went by, he became shabbier and shabbier. A large hole appeared in his toe cap, and another in his sole. In fact, by the time he ended up at the shoe repairer's shop, Trampy was so worn out, he couldn't be repaired. He felt very sorry for himself. He looked at the large dustbin in the corner of the shop and thought, well, this looks like the end of the road for me. But Trampy was quite wrong. The old shoe mender never threw any boot or shoe away. Instead, he polished Trampy's leather until it started to shine once more and then placed him on a shelf in the back room of the shop. Now this was a very special room. A room with a secret. Trampy found himself in the magic world of the shoe people, surrounded by lots of new friends. In fact, a whole new life had begun for him. Trampy now lives in Tumble Down House, Shoe Street. But as you can see, he's not exactly house proud. Trampy doesn't attach much importance to appearances. The inside of Tumble Down House is always untidy. Trampy simply hates tidying up. He isn't very keen on washing up either. He prefers to sit in his favourite armchair in front of the fire and read his favourite newspaper. Shoe Town News, of course. When he's not sitting by the fire, he loves to go for long walks in the countryside, often with Margot and Baby Booty. He tells them stories about all the flowers and animals and makes it sound so very exciting. Trampy enjoys nothing better than having his friends from the countryside drop by for tea. Birds, butterflies, bees, they all come to Trampy's garden knowing they will be perfectly safe there. Trampy has two special friends who visit him at least three times a week. A very prickly hedgehog called Hector and a bushy-tailed squirrel called Red. There's always food for them at Trampy's table. Trampy is so kind and generous, everyone in Shoe Town loves him. And nobody minds if he or his house is a little bit tumble down. Well, except Sergeant Major, of course, who, as we all know too well, objects most strongly to Trampy's garden. Trampy! Will you wake up? <laughs> I give up. It'd take an earthquake to shift that iron piece of leather. Lift. Lift! Lift! Right, lift! Lift! Trampy lift. often dreams of the days when he was smart and new. But he doesn't miss them. No. He's very happy to be just... Trampy.